Welcome back to the Elite League, guys. Before we get into these introductions, I want to give a big special thank you to a longtime viewer, but recently resubbed. One HP for the win! I don't know where you've been, man. We missed you, but welcome back. But spawning in the top left corner of the map for the emotional me League. Emotionally, Malik. There we go. Always takes a couple of tries. From Invasion Esports, it's the Red Terran Gumiho. The bottom right as the Blue Protoss Seed. So, for those who don't know why it's called the Emotional Malik, I can't. I just can't. Uh, we had a donator hit that top tier reward where you get naming rights to the tournament for each week that you're donating. Uh, it's an expensive amount, I'm sure it's silly, but they chose to actually name it after the last month's monthly finalist winner, which was Emotion uh, from Samsung Galaxy, who won the December monthly finals. So, for the first, I think, two or three weeks of this month, it's called the Emotional League, and I hate saying it like that. It's not that bad. At least we didn't have to short, like, you know, combine it, like, in the Emotional League. <laughs> What if this is Gears of War and there's some emulsion for the emulsion in Willy Lumily? I don't understand that reference. I never played Gears of War. Oh, dude, then you don't know how Dom's missing his wife. What's wrong with you? Um. Where's my wife? I guess I don't then. It's okay, the reference was for everyone else. Um, getting into this matchup, though, we haven't seen a lot of seed recently in the LA League. He actually used to turn up for quite a bit of these. So I don't think it's the bigger prize pool that necessarily brought him back, but he's probably just busy and worried about GSL and builds and all this. I don't know what his uh, ranking or spots are with like uh, as far as Spot TV or, or GSL and such go, but it's nice to see him back in uh, the Alima League, that's for sure. He's given us some really cool games, specifically PvPs in the past, but... Uh, PVT's in a funny spot, and I don't know where either of these players sit as far as the, being their uh, quote-unquote best matchup. As Gumiho did, of course, lose to Parting in a finals not too long ago for us, but then again, that was versus Parting, and that's a whole nother can of worms. Parting's not Protoss, Parting is Parting. Uh, is he really still on Team Dignitas? Yeah, Dignitas got Seed, Bling, and I don't, uh, I think Select's like you know, unofficially retired or something. Something, I don't know. But, man, yeah, I thought... I kind of thought Seed had, like, pseudo-retired as well. Not gonna lie. But that's... He was that's at cool. The, he was at, like, MLG Anaheim or whatever. We, like, saw him there. I saw him there. Yeah, we also saw Select there. Ah, uh, that's fair, that's fair. Okay, well... Silly. This is not really a proxy Stargate, but the thing with how close King Sejong's natural bases are, it might as well be. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is really cool, and it's, it's safe. You know, and it's out of like other proxies. There's no reason the Reaper should scout this. Yeah. Maybe that second pylon was a little like questionable. Like, what's the timing on that one? He is getting a bunker. Oh, where's that bunker going down? In the main, because he's worried about oracles. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah. So he knows. He figured it out. This is uh, every Terran's paranoia coming to fruition right here in this bunker. Okay. I mean, what's nice Other is that you can nightmares. salvage it on like a turret, but I mean, it doesn't cover the whole mineral line is the real problem. Uh, so no. the idea is that if the Oracle comes in, you pull to the bunker and the SV surround and the Marines will kill it. But it's either way, it's uh, <laughs> it's going to work. We'll just see how effectively it will work is the problem. Now he's going to get really bold and chase this out, actually. Yeah, I think he should. Yeah, gets the Oracle he, quite low. No kills. Nicely done. Very, very nice. I mean, honestly, he could have run around, maybe, you know, it, but it was too big of a risk not to get that bunker. You know, it's very, very safe to get the bunker. Why not do it? As you know, Ripken said, you can just salvage it later anyways. Totally worth it. Well, it's not like he put himself out by doing this. I mean, it is basically a Stargate opener, just... I don't know, it's the map, but you couldn't really pull this off the same way on another map. Dance well, the Oracle, that's cute. I always forget they could do the Disco Ball. It kind of looks like a spell, too, so I would be a little frightened. I was like, what are you doing? You know, what? what is the oh, I was dancing. I feel like Blizzard had this really cool mom momentum when the Heart of the Storm came out. They had cool dances. They were working on skins, and, like, I don't know what happened, but they all just kind of fell off with that. They ran out of space. That is literally their excuse. It's like, do you, do you not have any forethought? Apparently, you don't have any forethought. Yeah, at this point, like, I, I, I mean... I'll let everyone else jump on that whole skin circle jerk train, but 
I just hope, um, with, especially with the way WCS has changed, I really hope they start looking into servers more than anything else. I mean, I, I don't know if that's been addressed by Blizzard or not, but, you know, with WCS, NAEU, if there's any cross-server play at all, there's some folks, like Happy, who would actually probably, qual like, just straight up uh, forfeit his WCS match, because that's how not willing he's able to go off Europe. Mm. So, uh, whether it's Europe to Korea or North America to Europe, I mean, there's got to be some sort of in-between at some, some point. Oh, well, we got three gateways going down and Blink on the way. So, we saw this from Naniwal yesterday. You know, that uh, slightly more pressure with Blink than if you just gone for two gateways and a robo. You know, macro up behind the pressure. I don't think Gumio saw this. He did get a Reaper back in there. Oh, no, geez. but he might have seen the amount of stalkers. You know, four stalkers. Yeah, yeah he hasn't seen much with his vision. Uh, speaking of vision, the Marines have been uh, revelationed a long time ago, so he knows about them moving out and can plan up accordingly. Mm. Which is actually a pretty big deal because this would be the time you start moving out with the stalkers and you get caught going up that ramp. The stim marines just trigger you to bits, but uh, yeah, stim timing that's gonna be pretty nice. He's gonna he's looking for that fight. He wants the overcharge, but he also wants to dive through this. Yeah, unfortunately, with how many stalkers this guy has, like he can't it's fight, it's yeah. it's a waste of marines, really. This guy. Oh, has. nice. Turns nice. it around on the high ground. Nice moves out of Gumio. Goes to the mothership core. Nice pick off. But still, the All Marines right. will die at the end of the day. And, you know, I got two stalkers. Saw Did Blink, which helped a bit, I guess. But, I mean, you can kind of know Blink's up. He has sadly not seen anything directly outside of his base, though. Mm. Well, there's a couple of Marauders inside a bunker. Could maybe repair for a while, but... Uh, yeah, the Oracle's got high ground vision. The Mothership Core did die, sure, but this could actually let them get to the main. Right, right. And that's, uh, that's where Gumeo starts to falter a little bit. Oh, again, walking up a ramp and losing the Stalker immediately. Two Stalkers, three Stalkers, four. Oh, Marauders oh, are just so sloppy. good versus Stalkers. But he loses the Oracle. Now he can't get up to the high ground. Oh, that Stuck was just, on low ground that was, only. That was just sloppy. Like, Marauders are not. You should have had high ground vision and done that patiently. You know, blink back one at a time. And he instead he just he kind of ran up it, then blinked back, then panicked. Mm. It was not good. Well, Zealous took the hits this time. That's going to be a lot better. But picking off the SCVs individually, focus fire here out of seed. Perhaps a little too much focus fire. It's a lot of overkill with all these stalkers shooting one SCV. But uh, Whoa, so let's take some okay trades. Both players with a micro right now. All right, so Maybe the stalkers are stalkers. way too low to really fight. If he just sims forward, he'll, he'll execute like seven stalkers with one or two shots. Problem is, all of his marauders are getting a little bit low, and he can't repair these with SCVs. Just he needs medevacs to heal. Two medevacs are so close to coming out, so close to being oh, here God, on the front lines. Pull back, please. You can lose all your marauders. The medevacs are so close to going out. Uh, I think oh. he still might just barely have enough to push this off. He's losing SCVs for it, but okay. not that many. He's yeah. still got 30 behind this. He would have absolutely crushed Bape now. It's still going to work out, it seems. Like, his production is still going strong. Uh, SCVs... Did Marine true hero, I don't know. He killed a pylon or something. What did he kill? <laughs> I really don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, Gumio's gonna go for the uh, the break within his own base right now. SCVs are gonna get pulled into this. The SCVs are actually being picked up. The Marauders oh, are being in the medevac. Oh, yeah. Nice! That was, cool. that was so cool. Uh, but was it enough? It picks up again. The control of Gumio. We all know him to be this mecking player. Mecking players get the stigma of, like, you know, no APM, lazy control. But god damn it, Gumio is impressing right now. The problem is, you know, with 1 1 finishing, it's going to be a lot harder for C to keep breaking this, especially with these fancy dance moves out of these medevacs. Holy moly, these Marauders should have died seven times over by now. Yeah, I mean, this is this is all in. This is not a pressure. It's six gateways behind this. Yeah. Uh, it's, it makes it so amazing that Sumio actually held this without, well, with only one bunker, but a lot of that had to be with well, the first <laughs> row of stalkers he did. With 21 SCVs down, I mean, he's still sitting on like a 35 worker count equivalent to that of his opponent. I mean, that's, to me, really impressive. Normally he takes so much damage from this, but uh, Medivacs are out of juice, so he's going to be out of that uh, infinite heal, but... These zealots. If you can break the zealots, he breaks the stalkers. There's no question. There's so many marauders. There's so many marines. He's picking up and dropping the micro once again. Coming to shine through. Concussive Shell is going to hold these marauders in place as he pounces on this. And Seed is going to lose everything on the front lines. Yep, that's it. That's, uh, I mean, it's basically a game. He's going to try macro up behind this. Get a guy full of gas geysers. Oh, good game. There you go. Gumiho, the Gumi God.
We'll take game number one. Well played. Uh, we're gonna go check with see what he.